Debunking Polar Ice Alarm, Antarctica in Context A recent article on live science bemoaned the fact that Antarctica had lost more than 3 trillion tons of ice in the last 25 years. But wait, it gets worse. That ice loss contributed to a mind-numbing one-third of an inch of sea level rise. We're doomed! Oh no! Get out the boats! Meanwhile, on the website of Science and Reason, we get the context behind this alarming news from the bottom of the world. We find out that 99.989% of the Antarctica ice did not melt. Whew. In all of Antarctica, there is a whopping 27,602 trillion tons of ice. If the ice in Antarctica continues to break away at the same pace as the last 25 years, it would take 230,014 years to melt all that ice. That's more than 2,300 centuries. Currently, we live in an ice age. Climate always changes, and it changes in cycles. For the last million years, interglacials, like the current Holocene, have showed up once every 100,000 years on average. According to the 1998 work of W.S. Broker, we're already as much as 6,000 years overdue for the end of our current interglacial, and that means more of the deadly white stuff. Here's what the future looks like if we're already at the end of the Holocene. We'll keep getting warming and cooling on a downward trend which started 3,000 years ago. With all that cooling going on, we're likely not going to sustain the current rate of ice loss so we'll likely get lots more ice added to Antarctica long before that 230,014 years are done. Someone stubbed their toe, call for the undertaker.